Welcome everybody to Hands Down DFS. Guys, we're going to be going over some prize picks today. We're going to be looking specifically at rushing yards, NFL futures, over unders. Who are the guys I like? Who are the guys that we should probably stay away from? My name is Scotty. We're going to be bringing you a lot of content now that the new NFL season is just around the corner. Guys, I cannot be more excited. Went through just the trenches of baseball season, but now we're here going through some NFL, hopefully going to be able to get you guys some edges on some of your picks, and we can look forward to a big payout at the end of the year using some of these NFL future picks. First, we're going to talk about a couple of guys that I really do like. One of those guys, first off, Derek Henry, always a monster, always going to be a main rusher in his backfield. There's nobody even coming close to stealing touches with him, as we'll see. Uh, with a couple other picks, that that's going to be something we need to worry about. Now, Derrick Henry is going to be the guy in Tennessee. We all know that. They brought in Julio Jones. We're not worried about that because we st <clears throat> we know that when things get cold, now that we got 17 games, we got a game that's going to be added even later into the season. They're just going to keep pounding Derrick Henry. And I do need to, before going over this, we're going to assume that everybody plays 17 games this year. We're not going to go in because you can't predict injuries. I mean, we understand that more. Um, some players are more likely for injuries, but Derrick Henry, we're just going to assume we're going to be playing all 17 games again with all these other guys that we're going to be talking about. Um, if you want to hit the unders on any of these because you don't think they'll make it through the season, that's a different strategy, but we're just, we hope for the best, we hope that nobody gets injured here. So we're going to talk about Derrick Henry getting what we have projected at about 1,700 yards. That's 150 yards more than what he is going for on his line. 1550.5 it's something that really pops out when we look at our projections and then we pull over um, the prize picks number here um, we don't think the usage is going to go down due to Julio Jones like I said before um, they're going to keep running the ball the offensive line is so it's really strong there um, really expect for Derrick Henry to get a lot of touches again playing all 17 games looking good for Derrick Henry the second guy that I really like <clears throat> know this about me I'm, I am a Steelers fan about it I believe this does, has nothing to do with it. Najee Harris, we're going to be throwing the ball a lot. Ben Roethlisberger, love the guy, he's getting old. Doesn't have that deep ball, doesn't have uh, some of the same quickness with his passes. They're going to be throwing the ball more, or not throwing the ball, running the ball more. And with that, uh, Najee Harris is the main guy. I mean, we, he's looked fantastic during the preseason. Uh, we know preseason doesn't mean too, too much, but man, does that guy look good? His years in Alabama looked great. I think he's going to come into the league get 1,000 yards rushing for sure. Um, we're projecting him more at 1,100. Uh, so that's, again, about 200 yards more than what he is at here on his prize picks line. So really, really like Najee Harris here. Um, hoping that he gets over that line because, uh, man, if he doesn't, Steelers are going to be in big trouble. But I think it's a great pick as long as he's, he can stay healthy for sure. Final guy that I like in my as far as guys who I really like on the overs, <clears throat> Damian Harris. 845 yards, still hasn't been updated since the Sony Michel trade. Um, this number could change. What we like him at is about exactly 1,000 yards. Uh, as long as he stays probably around that 900 yards rushing, um, we like the over on him. Uh, Mac Jones is somebody who's been looking fantastic in the preseason. If he's going to be the quarterback, look for the uh, Patriots to run more of a traditional um, offense of being able to run the ball. Um, and Damian Harris should be able to thrive through that. Looked like a really good pack last year when he was playing. Uh, no longer has Michelle there. Um, Stevenson is somebody who do you kind of want to keep an eye out on just for stealing touches, but even at 845 yards over 17 games, man, we're not really asking too, too much out of Damian Harris on the rushing yards for um, that. A couple of guys that I want to stay away from. Um, these, this doesn't mean necessarily that we're taking the under on them, um, but it just means that it's guys that we just want, they're too close to projections are too close to, um, their actual number here on prize picks. So we're just going to stay away. Um, even though there's some big names and they're going to be guys that uh, are very eye catching. You're like, Ooh, definitely. Uh, Alvin Kamara, he's the guy last year, as any, <clears throat> many people know, he was a monster. He had that six touchdown game. He had, uh, just so many receiving yards and Really what that can do is that can inflate um, your ideas of Alvin Kamara. You can think, okay, well now that uh, Jameis Winston's running this show there uh, in New Orleans, what does that mean for Kamara? I mean, you're not going to get as many uh, dunk downs to Kamara. You're going to 
going to get a, a different offense. But it surprised me when I looked at the stats on Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara last year, even with how great of a year that he had, he only had 932 rushing yards last year. Again, you add an extra gain to that, that's up to 950. But he's never had a thousand yard rushing season. Um, last year was the year that he was the closest to getting that done. Um, again, I just think the offense is going to be different now that you have somebody who can actually throw the ball more than five yards down the field. It's going to be more dynamic. It's going to be more throwing. Um, I think really Kamara at um, 950 yards, though, it's not something that you want to hit the under on again, but it's somebody you don't, he's not going to be a lock to hit that over. Um, and so as I say, stay away just because even that last year with how great of a year it was, he was still under um, that mark. And he was under the mark too by just 18 yards. So it's not like he was a huge under there. Next guy that we're staying away from is Austin Eckler. Last year, had a good year, only played 10 games though. Um, and with those 10 games, he only had 530 rushing yards last year. Um, so we can't really extrapolate that too much. Um, we do have Joshua Kelly in that backfield. We have a couple other guys that are, are going to be in there for the, more the running. We know Austin Eckler is a great receiving uh, running back. Um, and so with the 530 yards last year, we're not going to take the under on him because, again, if you extrapolate that to 17 games, um, what we're looking at is really for him to hit his over. He'll need to get to about 53 yards per game. Um, that's possible. Um, but again, he's never had over a 600 yard rushing season. We don't know what he looks like when he has to take on the full lead role because he's always had Melvin Gordon or he's had somebody else in that backfield with him that he's been splitting carries with. Never gotten more than 600 yards, um, but I do expect him to be the main guy this year. And this is kind of a wait and see. We'll find out next year what this really is going to look like. <clears throat> Finally, the last guy that we're going to touch on today, the final one of the stayaways, is going to be Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb is all the way up here at the top, 1350. Guys, Nick Chubb is a monster, don't get me wrong. Offensive line in uh, Cleveland is amazing. Um, there's so many reasons to like Nick Chubb, but we have him projected in at 1360. You can go ahead and you can hit the over on Nick Chubb. We have it by about nine and a half yards, but still, that's gonna be um, tough when you consider that last year he had such a strong year and Kareem Hunt didn't play most of the year. Well, he didn't play for the first, I don't know how many, handful of games. Um, now that you have Kareem Hunt back in the picture, it's going to be much more of a dual threat. Um, in the backfield, Kareem Hunt still a really good uh, football player, a really good runner. Um, I don't think that Nick Chubb is going to be a guy where we see his usage dip a whole bunch, um, but he is somebody who is just close to that line. Uh, I don't feel confident either way on that. Um, and so if you want to go... Um, on the over, you have fun with the with the Browns. Go for it. They're going to be a good team this year. It hurts me to say that as a Steelers fan, but saying that as well, they do have a tough schedule. They're going up against um, you're going up against the Ravens twice. You're going up against the Steelers twice, just in the division. Uh, it's going to be tough, and um, we'll see how that plays out for them this year with those uh, four games at least, where they're going to be going up against a tough defensive line there. Um, so. That is all for the prize picks um, that we're going to be going over. Uh, please feel free to comment below any of the picks that you have a question on. I'll be more than happy to get those addressed for you um, and get those um, picks kind of just sorted out for you. Which way I like? Do I like them as over? Do I like them as under? Do I want to kind of stay away from them? Um, those are the, just the initial reads this week. We should have more content coming out later this week for some wide receivers and quarterbacks to see what we got there on the over unders. And guys, um, as always, feel free. Um, to just ask any questions, and we are more than happy to uh, get some answers to you. Have a great day.